The worst couples ever. Coming to New York, because this is my boyfriend. What's going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and in this video we are going to check out some walk clips of the worst couples I can find. Now like always, my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess this guy was cheating on his girlfriend, and his girlfriend said she's gonna slash his tires, except I'm not sure what she did to them, but she like gnawed them off the tire completely. I have no idea how she did this, but she definitely has talent. Check out this video. Man, me and my girl broke up, she told me she gonna slash my tires. I come out whole tire gone. What the f you do? This shit my shit with Thor's hammer. This shit with a Hadouken. Yeah, this bitch took my tire off my car, but her Land Rover Discovery, trying to discover what the f happened to the grill. I got it. What the fuck you talk about? Yeah. Hold on. Give me that shit too, you stupid bitch. Yeah, you got sh boots in this bitch. Get them shit the f out of here. You want to see what first dates look like? I'm going to show you. Louis Vuitton, flowers, nice restaurants. Step it up. Step it up. In this next one, we have this delusional as hell woman who thinks that she, it's perfectly fine for her to hit a man, but it's not okay for a man to hit her. I don't think anybody should be hitting each other, but with the way this woman is saying, I'm not sure if it's a joke, if it's banter, I'm not sure what it is, but I think she's being serious. Hitting men is a expression of love. I think that it's discipline. I think it's discipline. I think that it's unacceptable for men to hit women because it, it just is. But I think that when a woman hits a man, then it is an expression of love. Because whenever I've hit my boyfriends, it's been out of love. I didn't hit them because I hate them. It's been um, an expression of love. So because every time I've hit my boyfriends, it's, you know, every time I've beat my boyfriends, I, I did it because I loved them. I did it because I loved them and I wanted to train them to be the best version of themselves that they could be. I didn't do it because I hated them. So yeah, I, you know, I do believe that it's an expression of love because whenever I did it, it was an expression of love. And I mean, I'm being honest. Yes, I did hit my boyfriends. Yes, I did. You guys see her smirking, right? Like, she seems like she's kind of lying and she's doing this to prove a point. But then again, I have no idea if she's being serious or not. Just let me know in the comments. I, I really do think she's joking. At least I hope so. But I didn't, I didn't hurt them. I mean, I can't hurt them. Like, I'm a girl. Yeah, I just try to beat the bad habits out of them and it worked and it worked. So, I, it's, no one got hurt and I just helped them. I just help them. You know, it's like I never hurt a single one of my boyfriends. It never hurt them, but it did help them. It did nothing but help them. So yeah, and there's nothing wrong with me believing that um, that's what I want to do. There, I, I mean, I wasn't being playful, but... When I found out he was having problems with his bitch, I said a brother with 400 million can't keep a bitch. A brother with $100 ain't got a shot. What do these bitches really want? And this sexless woman definitely got a taste of her own medicine when she tried stealing from the store. It was a jewelry store, and I guess she didn't expect him to lock the doors. Good for Out here. Is that out there? Yeah. It's okay. It's over here. Gotcha, bitch. Ooh. Think I'm stupid? Come on. In this next one, I guess this guy's asking this girl what he is out of 1 out of 10. She decides to give him a rating, and I think he gets super salty by this, and gives her also the same rating. I don't think this man just understands how to deal with confidence, but she also doesn't know how to do the same. Hey, what will you rate me? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Take off those heels. Okay, I'm like about right the same height. I'm yeah. like right here, so... I give you a solid six out of ten. Six out of ten? What would you rate me? About give me three sixty. <laughs> I give you about a six and a half. I'm gonna be fair and impartial. Shut the fuck up. Really? Hey bro, she, she's about six and a half, right? Alright, look, baby. When I'm sober, you about a six and a half. When I'm drunk, baby, you like a twelve. 
And this next one's absolutely brutal. Basically, we have this girl. She ends up catching her man cheating on her. And then he ends up pretending not to know her, saying, who are you? I don't know you. Obviously, he likes the new girl more, but this definitely hurts to see. Check out this clip. Oh, no, no. Do I play with you? Do I play with you? Tech, feminism or low gas prices i guess low gas prices because ever since the feminist movement it's been a lot harder for me to find a guy to pay my bills and all of a sudden i have to work and i have to do all these things and i honestly don't want to work i would rather stay in the kitchen mind you i need some cooking classes but i think i could take a couple cooking classes and make somebody really happy and this next one we have his girlfriend is absolutely delusional saying things like she'll never date a man unless he pays her 10 million dollars for wasting her time in a relationship and that's just for one year guys i guess another year must be another 10 million i don't know who she thinks she is but no one's giving you 10 million dollars if a man wanted me to be their girlfriend with what i know now and if i wasn't married i would say all expenses paid okay if you're not going to propose that's fine 10 million dollars placed in my account right now what because if i'm going to be your girlfriend for a year that's going to really lower my mate value and you're going to build yourself up so transfer 10 million dollars into my account and I'll think about being your girlfriend for a year. That's how much I would say for each year, if I ever even did it. Cause it's so highly degrading for a woman. So are you cheating on your husband with him? Yes. She belongs to the streets. And this next one, I guess this guy who's like 32 years old ended up waiting for marriage and never been with anybody in his entire life. And I guess this guy has something funny to say about it. How old is everyone here by the way? 22. 20. 22. 22. 23. 26. I'm 32. 32. Dude, respect yeah. to you, man, for waiting. Three, two, and you ain't never... Wait, let's talk about that, though. Because if you are not married by 32, you will still be a virgin, correct? Yeah, but my God, and he ain't finna do me like that. My God loves me. What did he say? I don't care why you masking. I don't care what happened to you as a, I'm a 40-year-old man. I you don't got a care. daughter? No, I don't. Well, but, that's not fair your but my point is this. My point is this. Right. You all wouldn't care if a mm -hmm. man came to you feminine and said, my dad wasn't in my life. My mom didn't teach me this. You say, bro, you're 38 years old. I don't want to deal with a feminine man that hasn't addressed his mm -hmm. issues. So for me, dealing with a woman that way, I'm going to tell you the same thing. I understand you had issues or whatever growing care. up and you had to be a certain <laughs> way. But I'm not going to put up with it as far as trying to be in a relationship with you because you don't know how to be a feminine woman. And this next one absolutely sucks, but this girlfriend deserved it. I don't know who she thought she was. Basically, I guess she's on like some podcast with her boyfriend and her boyfriend ends up dumping her because she ended up selling his PS5 for $500, which I guess he took forever to try to get. Apparently, she was tired of him playing video games. She's like, you could play with the Nintendo Wii instead with her. I would have been absolutely furious. And yes, I would have broke up with her as well. So on my Facebook, yeah. was looking to buy a PlayStation. Oh, well, you won't be able to find one, that's for sure. No, no, like, I'll give him your PlayStation. What? Anyway. No, 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 no. Do you understand yeah, that you can't wait. get these anywhere? You better have at least got two grand for it. Well, they're not f***ing cheap. You bought it for $500. <laughs> I got it for what you paid for. Oh, my God. Now Whatever. you can spend more time with me. We get to go do things. Oh, yeah, we don't have, yeah, I don't yeah, have well. to sit at home and watch you play that dumb f***ing game we, all the time. We can actually exciting. do oh. things together. Oh. Yeah, can't wait. You're gonna be unwrapped. Did you forget about the Nintendo Wii that we can play together? Oh, <laughs> Only children play Wii. But if you want to act like a child, then can pack your shit up as well. And we're done. No, no, let's send it right there. Only lying. It's Carla Jackie O'Justin. <laughs> this is an only lying prank call. She has not sh sold your PS5. I play when I get home from work every weekend, whatever. Oh, f off, oh, no, 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 What's going on? You're actually serious. So th this isn't probably an only. And this next wife got a taste of her own medicine. Basically, I guess she ended up winning the lottery, then tried divorcing her husband without him knowing. But then I guess he found out and did this instead. I'm super happy for him. Woman hit the lottery for 1.3 million dollars right she hid it from her husband and 11 days later divorced her husband he found out two years later from a letter in the mail and it was the lottery company saying do you want to get the lump sum or do you want to continue getting the monthly earnings because he stayed at that same address right but she won the lottery at the time they, they were, were married. married he sued her fraud oppression and Malice ended up winning 100% of the earnings. Plus, she had to pay the court fees on her end.
catch it, bitch. To know if you think that I've just been sexist, but do please have a seat first. Do you think? Do you think that's sexist? Oh, I think it's wonderful. Do you think I'm sexist for having offered you a seat? No. No, I think that's polite. Isn't it? Do you think I'm sexist because I did that? No, 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 you're not. I'm not. That's no. Cool. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, uh, no. I'm pleased to hear it. Do you think? Do you think that guys offering girls seats? is a sexist thing to do. Is there any sexism oh, in that? Oh, I don't think so, because that has been going on for years. Yeah. And um, I think it's privilege. In this next one, I guess this guy is super upset with his ex-wife who spent all the alimony money on a new car. Now, obviously, the money was something that he gave her. And I guess he thought she was going to spend on the kids. But no, she spent on a brand new car. After the divorces spend oh, all the alimony is. money on cars. New car? Should you be at home with the kids? You told me, oh, you can't watch the kids, blah, blah, blah. And look, you're out here. All right. Wait till I tell the judge, too, about this. No, it's cool. All right. People have, like, open relationships. But it hasn't been hard being monogamous with him, even though I was, my last relationship was with two men. I lived with two men. We had a great relationship for several years. We traveled together. It was respectful. It was great. Sounds good. And this next one, guys, one of the biggest simps I've ever seen in my life. And it's absolutely disgusting to see men in this kind of way. Basically, I guess he's perfectly fine to be in this huge relationship with this girl and a bunch of other guys. And for him not to get any action at all, and for him to just to watch as she's getting action and he just stands in a corner. I think that's so weird and disgusting. Sarah, how many boyfriends do you have at the moment? I only have two at the moment. Um, the one that I met naturally and one that I've met online. Um, I can meet them without James, but mm. I actually prefer not to because, like I said, the turn on is if he's watching me and I do like to see you enjoying yourself too, even if it's just by himself, that I think, yeah, I, I like to feel that control. And this next one, this woman calls men superficial, but then I guess as I realize she's also just being a hypocrite. Men are so superficial. Would you date a guy that's shorter than you? Absolutely not. I'd at least 6'2". At least 6'2". Yeah. How tall are you? 5'5". Five, 5'5". Five. Five, five. Yeah. So 6'2". 6'2", six well, five, 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 yeah. bare minimum. Yeah, I just like tall dudes. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's, I dumb. Think she's dumb. And this next one, I guess this judge was giving this man an attitude, and he realized he doesn't care about which way this court case goes. He's going to demand some respect. I guess he didn't like the way this judge was talking to him, and I am kind of curious why judges are so rude, but this man did not deal with it at all and walked out like an absolute boss. I am doctor, here. not honey. I'm sorry? And I am Dr. McCaffrey and not honey. Appreciate it. You are Dr. McCaffrey? I am indeed. Would you be, rather I call you counselor, doctor, or anything else? How about Dr. McCaffrey, you? Your Honor? It creates a tone of respect. Where I'm from, you sort of got to earn that. Guess what? Where I'm from, you're born with it. Watch yourself, okay. Your Honor. Get out of my courtroom! Get out! A pleasure. Out. A pleasure. Out. And I'll find my favorite clip on the list, guys. Basically, we have this wife. She ends up catching her husband with another woman, and she goes absolutely crazy. Now, this other woman had no idea about who this wife was, and she looked at him with a very shocked look, like, yo, are you being serious right now? But I guess they still continued the day. I really did get annoyed with the employee in the background. I guess she didn't understand what was going on, and she still acted like, are you going to buy this movie ticket or not? And I'm like, bro, there's clearly something more important going on. I don't think anybody wants to watch a movie at this point. Do you want to tell me who you are? Yeah, you back up now. Tell me who you are. Hello. Really? Because I just came earlier today. So tell me who you are, and were you the one that works at the UN Great Home? Daddy, come to see me. You left work to go. Know that too, boo. My cousin works at the Great Home, and my family's over them. So you want to tell me who you are? Yes, Taff, you want to tell? You want to tell everybody? Do you see how he's still talking to the employee like he's actually going to watch the movie? Maybe he already bought the tickets and it's too late, but I know damn well no one's watching that movie with him, and he's definitely watching that thing alone. The girl's in absolute shock, and I do feel bad for her that her day's kind of ruined. But this guy is just making everything worse, acting like he doesn't care, and he's going to proceed on with the movie. Are we going to watch a movie? Are we going yeah, to watch a movie? Yes, we're watching a movie. We're going to watch a movie because you're a cheater. A cheater. So how long has this been going on? Because we've been going on for like nearly, let's see, since May, uh, April or May. Not true. true. You want me to show you videos? 
I'll show you videos of this thing. So you want to tell me? Do you, you, do you, say, say, say what you got to say. On vacation, supposed to be on vacation, and you were her. Was you were who he's been with when he's supposed to be with me? Tell you want to answer it? Facebook's about to know everything. You're caught. Well, that does what you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.